Okay, we're doing a little something different today. We are still looking for gold, but uh, we're looking for natural gold that hasn't been processed yet. Uh, this will be my sluice box here. And Jordan's got his set up there. He's got Keen Engineering, which is a good, a good brand. Um, I really like the way he has it set up. <laughs> Let's take a look at it. You see how he has it dropped down like that? So he's not going to have to worry about uh, moving stuff away from the back of his box. I might. Stuff might build up. But I'm going to dig right here. So what I'm doing, so I'm going to take my dirt and just set it right in my box. I'm not going to classify it, nothing. I'm just going to move some dirt. We're just here to have a good time today. Get out in the sun. Uh, since Jordan started working, he hasn't been able to, we haven't been able to hang out, so. Yeah. We don't have any beer or anything like that. <laughs> We're here to dig. Beautiful day though. Uh, the ground is, uh, I've gotten gold here before. Real gravelly here. You just gotta move the rocks like Jordan's doing right now. Take the dirt, run it. Uh, small gold, at least it used to be. And let's let's see if we get some. Oh yeah, I got my, uh, the only gear I have of, of my metal detecting is the Core Surf backpack, waterproof. Look, there's splashes on it already. Uh, oh no, Jordan, you're gonna get my stuff wet. <laughs> yeah, waterproof. So it's another good reason to have a waterproof backpack. And as I think about it, there are so many good reasons. If you're a motorcycle rider and it rains, it's good to have that. I mean, fishing, you're by the water, anytime you're by the water, even if you're a swimmer, I mean, yeah, it, it could fall in the creek right now and I'd be fine. Anyways, let's get to digging and see what we get. All right, we found a crevice here. We thought we'd just go ahead and double team it so we can tape it. Uh, I should probably catch the rock, huh? No, I'll get the rock. I got it. Ready? Because we have no place to set our gear. Oh, nice. That's a perfect little gold catch there. I'm just putting that in the water. Washing off the rock. He likes that small stuff. It all adds up. <laughs> Oh wow. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Let's see, we got another rock under here we're going to move to. But there's, we should be able to scrape some stuff out of there. Uh, you need a spoon or a knife or a fork. I got that. There we go. Look at that. That's a nice chunk there. Now just yeah, because it's a nice crevice doesn't mean there's gold in it. We didn't come prepared. Yeah, we're not. Jordan actually has a whole bunch of crevicing tools. Like a whole truck wood. Oh, they're right in there, yeah. And we'll rinse it afterwards if I get most of everything out. You can dump it in here if you want. I like this one. I like this one because I can wedge it in. And if it breaks, it breaks. You know, you could let it pile up down here, yeah. I was gonna say. I got a little spoon I found on the beach. So we could scrape with that if we want to. <laughs> Trying to reuse my uh, beach finds. Another knife from the beach. If you get any real tight cracks, you can really get into them. Okay. We gotta get all those roots and everything out of there. Oh yeah. oh yeah, there's some stuff in there. I can feel it. Feels like powder though. No, not heavies.
Oops, sorry. I'm not being a very good cameraman. Oh, I wanna... All right, we'll go ahead and clean the rest of this out. And then I'll show you guys the pan. Empty or not, even if we got gold, if, if, even if we don't get gold, I'll show it to you. All right. Uh, we cleaned out this crack pretty good, went all the way down here. Um, look how beautiful it is. <laughs> we're, we're just standing in the water. It's hot out. It's like 100 degrees out. Not even that hot, but we don't have to worry because it's cool. Anyways, we got these uh, sections here. Jordan just took out a nice section there. He's going to start on the bottom and there's some really nice cracks here. Look at that. That whole section could come out. There could be gold behind there. But with crevicine, you just never know. As we're finding out. <laughs> We've been watching a lot of videos of crevicine. And uh, it seems like they either hit or they don't. It's like kind of just like sometimes there's one just one piece of gold and one crevice. But we'll just keep going and see what happens. All right, uh, we ran quite a few uh, pans worth of uh, dirt and we haven't even seen a speck and there's nothing really heavy holding in those cracks uh, right up here. Not a lot of black sands at all. No black sands. So uh, I think we're going to go back to digging. It's just powder. But uh, if there's anything in this pan, I'll show you guys, but not likely. Okay. I am taking a little break. There's my sluice box right there. Um, yeah, I haven't done this for a while. <laughs> and I am out of shape for sure. That's, that's why I've been so sick. <laughs> uh, looks like poison oak. Dang it. I hate poison oak. Whoa. Can you guys see that right up there? That, I believe, is part of the old river. Uh, billions of years old or whatever it is. <laughs> Um, because it, it goes all the way through this valley. This valley goes way up that, that way. And uh, you see sections of that. You see river rock way up there and you're like, how'd that get there? Well, there used to be an old river there. Somebody didn't take it up there. Oh, I see other people down here now. Huh. I didn't know there was anybody else out here. Anyways, I'm on a little break and I just thought I'd take a look around because it is so beautiful down here. All right, back to it. All right, here's our hole so far. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a little clean out of the sluice box just to see if we're getting anything. Let's check it out. All right, we did the, we did the clean out. Uh, there is gold. There's a piece there, like four pieces there, another piece there, and there might be some more under the black sand. Uh, not too much. Let's see here. Yeah, there's a little bit more, but uh, it's very small. Uh, but you know what? I accomplished what I wanted to do today. Um, and I'm sure Jordan will get more because he's moving more dirt than I did. I didn't hardly move anything. <laughs> Maybe like two buckets, <laughs> if that. Like buckets that size. So, that being said, I'm gonna go see what Jordan's got. And uh, I'm going swimming. <laughs> How about a big picker? <laughs> hey, look, Jordan's got a nice little hole going here. Watch how his loose box works. Kind of like a cow sluice.
And he always has this tiny shovel, but he gets it done. It's, just, it's the same size head though, right? What's that? Is a normal shovel, you're... Yeah, I just reinforced it. There's no wood. It's my crowbar, shovel, all in one. And that's how his works. Uh, it's, holding pretty good. Like, like it. it's holding pretty good. All right. All right, I'm going swimming. <laughs> All right, Jordan's got some gold in his box. Actually, that's that's not a bad clean out. That's just the stuff we can see. Here, can you show it on the camera, Jordan? Just uh. Is it waterproof? Waterproof. Cool. Yeah. I hope you guys can see that. It's better than what I got. So uh, we might have a good clean out after all. Okay, we got uh, some mercury on our gold. Or Jordan's gold, I should say. Uh, and that, but that's, that's it. What, and that's what you got too added to it. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't get that much. We didn't dig super hard. Yeah, we didn't dig hard. Put a little smile on there. But I was just starting to get into the gold. Yeah. All right. I'll turn it this way so I can make sure we got a shot of it. Shot of. Sick. I don't know. Whatever. You guys can see. It's gold. I was thinking about doing a giveaway. What do you think, Jordan? Well, I don't know. I'll just throw it in there if you want to do it. Is it worth it, though? That's not that much. I could put that in an envelope. <laughs> Call it pay dirt. <laughs> in a baggie or something. I don't know. That mercury kind of sucks. Don't put that in with any other gold. All right. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, I might show some more walking out. I don't know. Um, and I don't know if we're going to do a giveaway. I'm, what do you think, Jordan? All right, if you guys want, I'll make some pay dirt out of that. And we'll do a giveaway. Just write gold in the comments below. And this is for everybody, not just the Patreons. I might throw a bonus something in there. I'll give it something else later. Uh, he might throw a little more in there to make it worth it. Later. Um, you drop me off? Later. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> but I still am giving away that gold ring for the Patreon members. So, oh, maybe I should become one. You should. <laughs> I, I was thinking about becoming one. I mean, the chances are good. I have what, 40 Patreons, 41 or something. I don't know. What's the what's the Patreon stake? What's the? You just put in 50 bucks, and then you're a Patreon. <laughs> 50 bucks a month. No, you just put in a five dollars, pretty yeah, much. Two ten dollars. Just uh, something like that. You don't have premium or. No, you don't. You could just do it one time. You can do it. Uh, automatic every month anyways cool. so that's the patreon and if you want I don't know how that, how that works. to get the waterproof backpack which I'm not sponsored for uh, so I just think it's a really good idea to have one if you're like into any kind of water sports or you know Jordan's even thinking about getting one and I know some of you guys said you already were going to get some, get one, but, um, it's a good idea. It's, uh, right here. Core Surf. C-O-R Surf. Core Surf. And that's it. And it's waterproof. 
and I'm really happy to have that. I didn't realize how real happy I was until I got one. Um, Cause I actually did used to worry about my backpack getting wet, my phone's in there, blah, blah, blah. And I know I could have put it in a bag and all that, but who wants to do that? Why not just protect all your stuff? I mean, if it rains, a lot of you guys like live in Florida where it rains more. Yeah. It would be silly not to have one almost. Anyways, we are out. I think we are out. I'm guessing we're out. Yeah, we're out. Uh, there's that river up there that I was telling you about. Ancient riverbed. All this looks like tailings, like somebody was mining. There's a pile of rocks up there too. All right, we're on our way out. <laughs> if I had room, I would take some of this trash I'm seeing everywhere. But I do not have any room in my hands. As you can see, I got my thing here. And three other things in my other hand. <laughs> the trailer in the water. Look at how clear that water is though. Mm -hmm. You guys see? Very clear. Oh. I'm not going to leave quite yet because I want to take a look around. See if I can find another spot to dig around here. Oh yeah. Looks interesting. I used to carry this thing all the way out hiking. <laughs> I can't even carry it right now. I haven't even hiked that far. Thing's heavy. <sighs> yeah. Let's put that there. Take a look back. Just waiting for Jordan. I'm going to go for a little hike first. All right. Uh, there's more in there too than that. Right along the edge there. I don't know if you can see it. But there's some gold. Jordan's adding that in. That is also from where we were digging today. Not the same spot. Yeah, there's but... a better view. Okay. Let me see. Uh, I'm getting a lot of reflection. I can't really. Oh, yeah. I'll get it out of the water. And then we'll... Yeah, there we go. See the gold there? And there's some down there too. There's some other yellow stuff in there. Yeah, there's gold. still other pieces that I swirled around. Yeah, there's, and then there was a little bit in here, Jordan said. This is gonna be the pay dirt. And then we're adding the, what we found today? Yeah, that, that was from my hand ridge. This was from his hand ridge. So he's hooking it up. Yeah, it'll it's, be it's good. Not, it's still not a lot of gold, but you know, it, it's something. Oh, it should be decent. Yeah, it should be decent. So, um, yeah, you guys will be happy. Whoever wins it, just leave the word gold in <laughs> the comment. <laughs> yeah, enter. I'd you, laugh if I win. <laughs> you could. I do a random. Gold. Jordan said he's going to enter too. So you get the gold back. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys in the next one.